So what we're looking at here in this particular video is, is how to use your CAS calculator to calculate some of the recurrence values that you'll get in um, either sort of the straight recurrence stuff or for example, the example I'm using here is simple interest. So I'm not going into too much detail of what the simple interest stuff is. That's a separate thing. But what I, what I want to look at is how we can use a calculator to calculate. So I'm not talking about the theory of it. I'm talking about how do you use your calculator. So in this particular question, you know, it's asked for the recurrence relationship. You know, you've, you've found that, you know, again, not going to go into the detail of that. But one of the key points you work, you've worked out is what this D value is. And the D value is basically saying the amount of interest earned per period. So if you earn $5 per year, that's your interest per period. All right. So in this particular case, we've said, we've worked out the D is 9.75. So each interest period is $9.75. Okay. So for example, when you're using B, it says use a recurring recurrence relation that you've worked out um, to find the value of the investment after five years or for after each of the first five years. So you want to know what it is in after year one, year two, year three, year four, year five. Okay. There's two ways we can, we can approach this. Okay. And the way I want to show you first, I'm going to start on a new page. I meant to have started on a new page before. Okay. Is, is we put out in this case, we want to know in this particular case, what our, um, what's the value investment. So what, what have I still got in the bank after each investment period? Okay. So it means I start off with 325 because that's my V0. That's how much I start with. Okay. So in this case, I write that here. I type that and I go enter. All right. Now what I do is I write answer. So as in a n s okay then i go plus so because in this case remember after each cycle after each uh well cycle is not the right word after each period i'm going to add nine dollars 75 because remember simple interest it's always that same amount you add so in this case i'm going to add nine dollars 75 all right so what i put there is plus nine dollars seventy five and I go enter that gives me three hundred and thirty four point seven five then I go enter again then enter again and then enter again and that's our first five so we'd get one two three four five but I could keep doing that now I'm going to bring this I've actually taken a screen clip into that and the reason this is important is as you'll see here is that I start off, this is my starting amount. Then I add $9.75 and I get this number here. All right, so let's highlight that number. That number, number gets brought over to here. Then I add $9.75 to it. That gives me, oops, that was supposed to be a different color. That gives me 344.5. That's what it brings over here. So it's automatically bringing that that number across so then i can go i had nine dollars 75 to it i get 354.25 i get that here again add, add it again i get 364 and i get 364 then i add it again and i get 373.5 so you can see that there's direct links between there 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 okay and as you can see, now the reason I, I did, I want to show that really explicitly here and be able to write it, which is why I did the screen clipping, but also want to show that it matches up to what you see here. Okay. Cause it's important that you, you can see that link that you can see that numbers I'm getting in, in, on the calculator are what's matched up by in, in this table. Okay. That's one way to do it. Second way. And the, which way you pick really is going to be dependent on what's the easiest for you to use. So in this case, I slightly pre-prepared earlier. And for this way, there are some instructions on how to do that in the OneNote, which is um, going to be exactly what you see here. I only need to go to five. Okay. 
And basically, you can see that the down here, okay, that is the formula you've got. So you've basically typed interest is already there because that's the part up here. Then you go equals. So if I go equals, equals, all right, I'm going to type in 325 because remember, that's that number. That's my starting value. Then I'm going to add. Okay, and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna add is my 9.75, because you can see that's a 9.75 there. I'm going 9.75, and I'm gonna times that by, this is like that, I saw like a time code, so I'm gonna type in time, because that's what I've written there. Okay, T-I-M-E. And basically what that's going to do is go, so for time, so it's going to go 370, 325 plus 9.75 times 1. That'll give me this number here. Then it'll go, it's not looking at the previous, but then it's going to go 325 plus 9.7 times 2. Then 325 plus 9.75 times 3. So it's calculating it for you. You can see that the numbers I get there are exactly the same as I got in both of these, you know, in, in this particular way over here. So which which is your preferred option is entirely up to you, but that's two different ways you can actually work out the values from a recurrence relationship. Now, like I said, separate video will be, I'll be talking about um, uh, simple interest in of itself, but this was just how to do, set up those recurrence relationships on your calculator. Okay, bye.